In this video, I'm going to go over the experiments phase of kata. Um, this is uh, oftentimes I find the fun part of kata, um, if, especially if the grasping current condition and setting a target condition has not been done well, um, then this part should be really fun. It should feel like flow, it should feel like learning. Um, so the first uh, step is to select an obstacle um, to work on. Uh, this ensures that we're moving towards removing obstacles that are in the way from achieving our target condition. Um, I recommend finding ones that are closest in the way. So using a hiking metaphor, find obstacles that are um, not super far out into the distance, but things that are like right in the the, the line of sight. Uh, with, more within your control would be better. So there will be systemic obstacles or bigger obstacles that will be harder to operate against. I'd recommend finding ones that are more within your wheelhouse. Um, and then I often say the logical one, what makes sense? So for example, one of my learners was trying to, you know, def you know, communicate a vision to his team, but uh, the obstacle of hasn't, you know, doesn't feel confident in the communication is probably after ha the obstacle of that he doesn't have a vision to share, right? So there's a logical progression with a lot of these obstacles. Uh, the next thing you do is select a next step or experiment. This should be a small bit experiment that moves us in the direction of the target condition. Um, and it's really to learn more about 